just arriving to the outside for my appointment with the principal of the International School of The Hague. And it's a very large and impressive complex they have here. Again, this is something that you'll almost never see in the United States. Look at all the bikes on this side and look literally of the hundreds of bikes that you will see on this side. Probably it's a good reason why the kids are fairly slim here. This is the inside of the International School of the Hague and, and uh, David, what's your last name? Butcher. And what's your what's I'm, your I'm the principal of the secondary. Secondary school. And what do you what do you what do you categorize secondary school as here? Eleven to eighteen years old. Eleven to eighteen years old. So that would be compared to our Middle school and high school. So then what do you categorize high school as? After 18? Yeah, uh, well that's university, yeah, that's tertiary. Okay, okay. So you, you, got th you have 1,300 kids in this school, and this is the primary school over here? Primary down here. Okay. And then if you switch, you go to the right. Okay. This is on secondary from this side. Okay, and so all the kids are together. Is that a problem, having such young kids? No, everybody gets along and... Wow. It gives a great community feel. Right, right, right. And we were just, we're going to talk a little bit in a minute, but we're talking about, this is a private school. It's what, one of two in The Hague? Uh, there's three. 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 And so private doesn't mean absolutely private. You right. said semi-private. And semi -private. so private in the in the U.S. means you it's completely private. You have to pay all tuition. So here, what's happening here? <laughs> We're part of a, a group of Dutch schools, right. the Rhineland's Lyceum. And as a Dutch school, we get a government subsidy, uh, which is equates to they they pay they give us the same as the fees that we charge. Right. So if we charge six thousand euros, we get a subsidy of six thousand euros from the Dutch government. Okay. So by doing that, we have to adhere to the Dutch state system in some uh, some guises in terms That's, of. Okay. Dorm. So do the kids pay? The parent, the yeah, kids. The parents pay. How much do they pay to go here? Between four to seven thousand euros per year. Plus, you get. An addition of six thousand. Well, relative to what they pay, they, we get a top up from the government. Oh, okay. So that's why we're semi-private school. So you have more to work with here than more resources, probably. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. But in terms of uh, student pupil funding, you're you're you can deal with more money here than than a normal public school. You have more to work with. Compared to a Dutch state school, right? Yes, we have a greater we, we have greater cash. As it were, right, right. Investment. In so, terms of against a, a private school, a private international school in the Hague, right. their fees are uh, demonstrably higher than so your fees. They are 15,000, 16,000 a year. But most of your kids are expats. Yeah. So they're or, not. Or repats. Or repats. So the Dutch that have lived overseas right. take one of our big companies that we use, Shell. Right. Shell send them out for two to three years, they send them back. Okay. And they will, they, a lot of them, will, the, the company will pay the fees. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're, they're the repats, the Dutch repats. But then through the, the nature of the school, we have 84 nationalities here. Wow. So it's truly international. Right, right. And we have a lot of, uh, the Hague is the, the political and um, government seat of the, right. of the Netherlands. Correct. So we have all the missions, all the embassies. Right. Here in the Hague, so a lot of the students come from here. So your yeah. kids at this school are fairly come from fairly affluent families. Uh, no, yes, fairly yeah. affluent is, is a decent way to describe it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not the top end. Yeah, it's upper, smart. middle class, and above probably. Middle class, middle, middle class. Middle, middle yeah. Upper, I'd say. yeah. Okay, You've been great. at the school. Well, I've been here for um, two years now. Two years, yeah. and uh, where, what's where did you study before that? I studied in a school in Tanzania. Tanzania, yeah. and you're from where? I'm, I'm originally from Kenya. Did you go to schools there too, or yeah. private schools or public? Private schools. And how do those private schools compare to Ish? Yeah, like in Tanzania and Kenya well, compared to this in school. In Kenya, they're more um, they're more serious, but then in Tanzania, they're not really that mm -hmm. serious. Yeah. Well, in terms of like, because there are times that um, teachers will call in sick when they're you know busy busy doing their own things. Yeah. Here. So yeah, no, no, in Tanzania. In Kenya. 
But in Kenya, people, the teachers are more serious. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we take our work seriously, but then in Tanzania, they don't. How was the discipline in the schools in Kenya? In Kenya, we were, the, yeah, the discipline is really, they're really strict. Really strict? Like, yes. Yeah. Because they want to, you know, I'll go check in today, yeah? Great. I can, che I can check Great. in now. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. We've got two mirror gyms, so this is the same. We've got one across here. Uh huh. And we've got the uh, the bleachers at the top there. Okay. And they play soccer here too, or just basketball? We do soccer. Uh huh. We're very good at it because obviously it's the Netherlands. Correct. And basketball. We're part of ISST. Okay. And let me ask you: your kids, your teachers, kids go to school 195 days a year. 195. Yeah. And the teachers do about the same. About the same. So about the same. Because we have compensation days. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're, you took your soccer team to Milan, yep. right? Yep. And you said you, you, you host the basketball and soccer leagues, and the, and the kids come from what countries? Israel, uh, England, France, uh, Belgium, Germany, Italy, Greece. Right. Uh, it's part of a, a huge organization. Um, the schools are international, uh, and we are, they're different divisions, and Part of it is that you go to tournaments and then we host tournaments as well. So our community is involved. We have uh, host families, right. um, and houses and stuff like so that. So when, when you go to their country, they stay with the kids yeah. and vice Absolutely versa here. Yeah. It's really wow. good. Really good. It's great. Sport great system. Is,